Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to apply CSA's gradients to pretty much any element within Go High Level. Now, before we get started, we do have to mention that for this, you will need a Go High Level account. You can get a 30 day free trial on Go High Level with our link down below. So definitely check that out. Now let's get started. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna switch to a sub account. So let's just switch to one of these sub accounts here. And once you're in the sub account, we wanna go to sites and obviously in the websites, new website, and then we can obviously go from blank or yeah, we can actually just go from templates here. And let me kind of show you um, how you can do this. So let's go with this one. This one looks pretty good. And what we can do is we can change these buttons to look uh, like a, have a, a blue gradient. So let's just click continue here. Now, while this is adding uh, within right here, what we can do is we can um, visit cssgradient.io. And as you can see here, we already have like a blue. Uh, I just wanna, I can just exit out of this one. And as you can see, this is basically what I wanna do. So yeah. So this kind of blue, I wanna to apply to that button, right? So as you can see, I wanna apply it to this button. So what I will do is uh, I'll just go here. And as you can see here, we actually have uh, this right here. So we can copy this to clipboard. And uh, now what you can do is you can go to, let me kind of see custom CSS. Now what I usually do is, um, let me just go here. So what I usually do is I just paste it here, right? And this is how it looks, but what we need to do is we need to create a class. So it would be like custom blue. And then what we need to do is we need to use brackets. So I, I, I don't have brackets. I don't know ex exactly how to uh, copy the brackets, but these are the brackets, right? That you wanna have. And then once you're done below here, you need to close the bracket, this bracket. So we need to just go and copy this one. Mm, let me just see. I usually do it like that because on my keyboard, I don't know how to do it, but we hit save. Once we hit save, uh, we we want to go to the button. So we want to go to the button and then what we want to do is, let me go here and let me see to advanced. Let me just move the camera a little bit here. So we have a CSS selector. So what we can also do is we can copy this, right? We can copy the button and we can simply go to CSS and we can make it like this, right? And that will apply if we hit save, that usually applies to the button. but Right now, what we want to do is we want to delete that. So we just want to have custom blue. We can copy that custom blue, it's hit save. And now let me just kind of find this, enter a class name. So yeah, now as you can see, I just entered a class name here. You can also use this class name to add it to the code here, but that's pretty much it. Right now we have that button right here. So you can add this to any element you want. Let's say we want to add it to this element, right? Uh, here we can see that this background color is this. Okay, we can just go here, custom blue. And as you can see, it's custom blue right here. Really beautiful. So that's how you can play around with gradients in Go High Level. Um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. And uh, yeah, you can check out our 30-day free trial and we'll see you in the next video.